Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very confusing episode of CSK News. I'm just going to assume all of you guys know the Immortals and CLG FNS situation going on right now. If you guys do not, look up my, some of my previous videos. If you guys have not heard about those situations involving this guy on screen, KNG, it does seem it's gone full circle as of right now. No confirmations, but allegedly according to KNG himself, he is leaving the Immortals roster. I'll show you guys tweets on screen about this, but it's not been confirmed as of right now what he's going to be doing in the future and if he's actually off the Immortals roster because according to their CEO and founder Noah Winston, he's actually under internal suspension. Who knows if that's actually been, uh, of course, escalated due to what he did last night. If you guys did not watch those matchups, it was the Epicenter closed qualifiers. And yes, it was CLG versus Immortals. Kind of an ironic coincidence that it was this matchup because, of course, KNG's initial uh, kind of consequences happened the past few weeks against CLG and their member FNS in the hotel room. Whatever happened, we're not really sure the full details about that, but it was kind of went full circle here. So for map one, we actually had Zach, their coach, standing in, but allegedly over, over map two and three, it was actually KNG who subbed in for them. And it was kind of weird to see because a lot of contradictions in the story of the, what happened the past few weeks and even more contradictions here. So let me explain myself for all of you guys who are wondering. We do, of course, have the main team, their main actual Twitter handle posting this where they clearly said that KNG was going to be subbing in. He was, their, they were, he was their secret weapon. But on top of that, we also had Noah Winston contradicting that and saying, yes, he was under suspension. He knew he should not be playing. So if this is true, if the entire team and the organization and the official Twitter knew they sh that he was under suspension and shouldn't be playing, why would they call him out? And, if, and purposely sub him in and make people publicly aware of that in the first place, it really makes no sense why they would do that. But also it could be maybe KNG already knew he was going to be leaving Immortals. He knew he was under suspension. And maybe, just maybe, this guy thought, you know what, what's one final bang of this temper tantrum he's on? What's one final bang to go out and beat CLG, the team who got me in this trouble in the first place? He did that, tweeted about it, and apparently as of right now, it has now cost him his job on Team Immortals. We'll figure out next week though, according to Noah Winston, we're going to figure out what actually happens with KNG in the future. And we we are still trying to figure out who their fifth member could be. It could, of course, be their stand-in player who's played in for them in the past. That is Horvy. He's actually working with visa issues, has had those for several weeks. Of course, it could be their coach, Zach. And alongside that, they apparently have FNX still on that roster. Although rumors out there, and Noah Winston himself has said he's already been traded away. That was about a month ago, though, but it seems he's still on their bench. So maybe a lie there by Noah Winston. Who knows who their fifth member will be? They have plenty of options, though, in the Brazilian CSGO scene. Now, on top of that, a big disclosure here. Many of you guys actually DM me in the past few days, probably 15 separate DMs, people saying it's been leaked that Mo owns a gambling website. Yes, he does. I'm not here to torch him, guys. He disclosed this a long time ago. Actually, on screen, I'll show you guys first a leaked screenshot that is actually Quager, a partial owner of the CSGO gambling site on a CSGO boss. And as you guys can see in the upper right-hand corner, it shows that Mo TV is a 30% owner, which now makes him a majority owner of that website. So first off, I do want to say he fully disclosed this back in July with this video on screen. He said he is partnered with his website, and you guys can pretty much infer by that that yes, he actually traded his videos for partial ownership of the website. Now, that is, that's an enough disclosure for me. I have no problems with that. The only problem I do have with this is with the Team Martin and Syndicate scandal, those guys did own or partially own that website and they played on it as well. So kind of along those lines, it's a bit sketchy. He's actually made two of these videos, although in one of those videos, he clearly lost money. So I really have no qualms about it, guys. So for all of you who are worried about, oh my gosh, Mo TV, he owns a gambling website. Yes, he does. He fully disclosed it a long time ago, but thank you guys for your concern, but there's no problem with that. He did everything to his power that he should be doing. And then some CSGO news about some YouTubers out there. First of which, Warhol did return with some update videos. A pistol rework video for all of you guys. He actually returned from his longest break in seven years, so congratulations. I'll link his video down below for all of you, but also one of those YouTubers out there that I watch a ton, and when he actually does post every now and again, he has some very, very high quality content. He actually recently broke 1 million subscribers. That is Fitz, actually did a face reveal on his channel. Now all we need is McSkillet, but he actually did that. I'll link his video down below for all of you guys who wanted to see Fitz's face. Now, even more importantly though, bouncing off that, I do have one last story for all of you involving CSGO Inventory Helper, who just keeps on shooting themselves in the feet. Now, first off, I do want to disclose this. In my last video, I told all of you guys to uninstall that, but really quickly, they did actually post a few hours before their plugin actually did release itself. That plugin being the very shady notification that you got on screen right now, guys, where, of course, they wanted more access to information you guys have on your computers to other websites, which did seem a bit shady, as well as their explanation for it did seem shady as well. People shot through their wording saying that some of the things they said were just clearly not true, that Google required this, Google Chrome required this. Some of those things were just blatantly not true. Now, on top of that, though, we had a complicated situation because after this news spread, they actually posted an apology and on top of that they said they'd re-upload the previous version without the shady pop-up notification that would access or require access to other things out there. They had an apology and they said they bring back the old version which is what we wanted right their old version was just fine it was working probably the best of any other inventory helper out there in the scene right now and they were doing a great job but they probably weren't making enough money doing that but even further so even more confusing a few hours after their apology they took it down and now they're saying screw it guys we're gonna upload the new version with the shady pop-up notification I'll re-show it on screen for all of you so yes the 
current version of the application of Google Chrome will still have that notification. They still want access to all those websites out there. Who knows exactly why they want that access, but as of right now, I'm not gonna trust it. They've already lost probably so many subscribers or whatever you call it, so many add-on people. So overall, I think they kind of handled this the wrong way. I'm not gonna trust it for now. If you guys wanna stick it out with them and let me know in the future if you guys get scammed, it's just not worth me trusting them in the long term. Who knows, after CSGO goes away, what these guys will do with this information, and once they have that information, they will always have it. So I'm just gonna stop trusting them for now. We'll see in the future if they have any posts about that though. So as always, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of CSK News. If you guys did, thank you very much. Please leave a comment down below. I will see you guys on a couple days with a brand new video. And uh, as always, here's a blooper of me getting very angry because I took a lot of I took a lot of retakes today. So here's Jake. Oh, I'm gonna freaking break a brick on my dick.